It's a platform capable of resisting seas whipped up by the furious 50s around Antarctica. And yet this strange-looking vertical 100-metre-long vessel has no engine. It's drifting, carried along by the Antarctic circumpolar current. Towed horizontally from Port Elizabeth in South Africa, once in the study area, the polar pod will be tilted vertically by filling seawater ballast tanks. A concrete bottom ballast weighing 150 tonnes at a depth of 80 metres ensures stability. Equipped with sails and a transverse propeller 10 metres below the waterline, Polar Pod will be able to avoid icebergs. Wind turbines ensure that the Polar Pod is energy self-sufficient. Located 15 metres above the ocean, the International Oceanographic Platform can accommodate eight people, sailors and scientists. The aim of the scientific mission, led by explorer Jean-Louis Etienne, is to collect data on climate, biodiversity and pollution in a still largely unknown region whose cold waters are thought to absorb 40% of CO2 emitted by human activities.